In the 1950s, a scientist named Harry Harlow wanted to understand something about the importance of touch between babies and mothers. So he did this in monkeys. He took a baby monkey and separated it from its mother and put it into a cage with two substitute mothers, both of whom were made out of wire frame. One of those had a bottle of milk, but it was bare wire otherwise. The other one had no milk, but it was covered in terry cloth. And he watched what happened. The baby monkey would get some milk from this mother and then run over and hug the terry cloth mother. And when the baby monkey was frightened, it would only go to the terry cloth mother and hold on to her. These studies nailed down earlier suspicions that there's more to the mother-child relationship than just nourishment. What Harlow realized is that this contact comfort is an essential part of the monkey's brain development, and by extension, a human child's development as well. Touch is critical to the mother-child interaction. So Harlow went further to understand this. He put monkeys in cages where they could see each other and hear and smell each other, but they couldn't touch. And what happened is these monkeys developed real behavioral problems. They rocked and they clasped themselves and they emotionally withdrew. And in a later study, the screen that was dividing the monkeys got holes put in it. So now the monkeys could touch each other. And all of a sudden, this fixed things. The youngsters no longer developed these behavioral problems. For a beautiful illustration of just how much humans need touch, just look at any neonatal intensive care unit. At the University of Miami, they have 14,000 births a year. And so the doctors there see a real stream of babies that need some extra care. And what they've found with premature births is that the most important thing a caregiver can do is what's called STEM, or stimulating massage. Three times a day, the nurses and the parents stroke the premature infants. And it can't be too light or it tickles the infant. And it can't be too firm or it agitates the infant. So they do it just at a slow, steady pace, like smoothing a wrinkle from fabric. And they do six times on the head and the face, and then six times on the back and the neck and the arms and the legs. The results are dramatic. Those babies that were massaged gain weight 50% faster than their peers who weren't touched. And their nervous systems mature faster and they become more alert and active and responsive. And they end up getting discharged from the hospital an average of six days sooner. And even eight months later, they're healthier and bigger and have fewer health problems than those infants who weren't touched. So touch is the basis for a healthy emotional life. But beyond emotions, touch is informational. It's what allows us to gather information about our world and exert our influence over it. And in the next video, we're going to talk about that.